Hello and welcome to the show and welcome to the Battle of Granicus. This will be the first of three major battles, Granicus, Issus and Guagamela. And I'll be using Little Wars TV Age of Hannibal rules along with my three millimetre figures. The commanders for both sides are as follows. Obviously Alexander the Great, who is semi-divine and reckless, plus one on combat, plus one for rally factor, but also an enhanced probability that he may die in combat. Parmenian, his uh, second in command, who's a veteran soldier. And for the Persians, the general will be Arcites, who is soft uh, with noble origins, so that gives him a slightly better chance with rallying. And Memnon, his Greek mercenary, who's also a veteran soldier. This is the Macedonian army. I don't intend to go through this in any detail. Of note, obviously, we've got the companions and the um, uh, pikes, God knows how to pronounce that name, uh, some Greek coplites, etc. They have a total of 30 bases and 1340 points. As for most of these battles, the Persians will outnumber the Macedonians. They will have a total of 52 bases and 1560 points. However, while they do have some good quality troops like the mercenary hoplites and the heavy horse, a lot of their troops would be unreliable and unsteady, so a lower quality definitely than the Macedonians. So here's the ground for today's battle. The River Granicus is the main feature, running from right to left, twisting as it does, steep banks and uh, impassable swampy area to the uh, right in the bend on the river. The Macedonians are this side of the river, and starting from left to right, we've got some light cavalry, medium cavalry, and then the big phalanx with Parmenion just to the rear. Greek hoplites, then some skirmishers and bows. The companions, which is where uh, Alexander is located, and to his right, some more skirmishers and bows. I'm going to play this as some of the sources suggest in that Alexander will dive around to the right and try and get Ryan behind the uh, swampy ground and attack from the rear, whilst the rest of the Macedonians hold the horde at bay. So this is Arcites' view on the high ground, this side of the Granicus, which runs from left to right as we look. And zooming in here, we have the Satrap medium cavalry on the left uh, with light infantry behind. The heavy horse with Arcites himself, only four of them, and just in front of there he's got some bows. Moving to the right, he's got the Greek mercenaries with Memnon, and to the front of that they've got some skirmishers. And the rabble of Satrap Levy, again with skirmishers to the front. Some more bows on the right, and on the right hand flank, some light cavalry. So a vast horde, but not brilliant quality. And away we go. The Macedonians will start with the initiative, as you would expect. Uh, no rallying and no ranged missile fire. I have actually started the two sides quite close to the river. Uh, some of the sources say that uh, that's where they positioned before the battle began. So away we go. Now, although this side of the Macedonians are going to hold, I want to get them across the river because the Persians aren't going to attack them. So I'm going to push them up over the river, which is dangerous in itself. I'll take some penalty for crossing that, as will the phalanx, which can be quite unwieldy. Medium horse will push up as well, along with the light cavalry. Skirmishers will push straight across, as will the bows. And the companion cavalry is going to get going this way. Having clearly allowed the bows to move before them. And there we are, Macedonians on or across the river already. No rallying, but the Mardian bows here are in range of the Cretan archers, so they will open fire. Uh, these two on the left hand and the, the other one on that. So firstly, the left hand one, no effect. Next one, no effect. And the right hand, 
Oh, no effect, they need six to get a DMZ. And again, these are in range just, so all three will be firing at the light horse. Left hand one, uh, that is one DMZ. The other two will be firing at this one. No. Yes. I've got a bit excited there. I thought it was a double DMZ, but it's just a DMZ. Now also, I think, yes, these Ionian Peltasts are in uh, range of the Pike and the Spears. So these two will be firing it here, and the rest of them are firing at the Phalanx. Sevens and eights required. Oh, cocky. No. No. So those two have missed the Spears. These two on this one. Uh, no. No. And these two are on the opposite Numbers there, no, no, useless. The other peltasts are just out of range. So movement, I think the bows are going to come forward here. Persians really want to stop the um, Macedonians from getting over the river. So I think these peltasts are just going to move to the side. And the other ones are moved to the other side, allowing the Greek mercenaries to rumble forward. I'll push them a little bit further over. So Memnon wants some action. Over on this side, I just push, push the Peltas up in line with these. I'm not overly worried about getting the rabble involved just yet, but the bows will come around as well. And these chaps can go eight. So they're going to sweep around and try and catch the uh, Macedonians in the left flank. Already that's looking precarious. I might have to refuse that flank with the light horse and medium horse. We'll see. Okay, what does um, old Arcites do here? Perhaps he just goes for it as well. He goes six. He's seen an opportunity, which is uh, the companions disappearing to the right. And he's punching through the hole. And the light infantry will push up as well. So it's a general advance by the Persians and um, old Alexander has been caught on the hop I think right so rallying the uh, light cavalry near to six well they've got it and the others no so they're not okay so it's range far we've got the Greek peltasts here these guys can fire at them and these guys will have to fire at them as well so it's two on them again seven and eight have an effect no and no so no effect by them so the Cretan bows will fire now they're elite uh, but they don't get any bonuses for firing their bows. So six and seven is required, no effect, and oh, one effect. So DMZ there. And then finally on this side, these bows can fire at the um, heavy horse. They'll both be firing at the nearest one here. Six is required. No. Yes, so one DMZ. Movement. Right, the light cavalry are going to come back here. Uh, the medium cavalry will just come back a little bit. Not free facing, so I've just allowed them to come back an inch or so. Now, the phalanx. Whew, difficult. They've got two inches crossing the rough ground there, which means they're still going to be in the river and in a bad place because they'll get minus three for terrain. So I'm going to keep them there. Uh, the hoplites will actually do the same as well. So they've enticed the Persians forward and now they're just going to stay there. Over on this side, I will push the peltasts over the river along with the bows. Keep the foot in the river. And the companions will turn. Alexander has realised he's made a mistake and he needs to uh, watch that center. Right, Persian phase rallying for the Mardian bows. They need a six, they've got an eight. No problem. 
and the heavy horse. They need a five, uh, but they've got uh, our sighties with them, so it's down to four. I oh, don't rally. Ooh. Right, we'll do some bow fire here. Uh, again, they'll all be firing at the bows or the peltasts. No effect, no effect, and a six is an effect on them. And the peltasts here, seven and eight required. No, no, a bit cocky, no. Right, again, they're firing at the opposite, they need sevens and eights. That's a cocky, no, 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 we're here and at the moment. Yeah, so that's DMZ here. Final phalanx gets it and one on the medium horse there, yes. And the bows are in range as well. I forgot about those almost, so they'll be firing at these two um, bows. A six is a DMZ. And another one. And they'll get another one on the end. No. So that's quite a few demoralised units for the uh, Macedonians here. Okay, the light cavalry will continue their advance around. Now they will suffer a little bit crossing this river. The bows will push over here. And I guess... So the Peltas line has moved forward as well, and they're just going to be very annoying to the Phalanx. I think the Satrap Levy will also just shuffle forwards. So the big decision, does Memnon push across that stream and take on the Phalanx? And the Greek spears to his front, the hoplites. Mm, big decision time. I think he's an aggressive chap. So he might well do that. Right, there we go. Memnon will come over this way. Meanwhile, the heavy horse will walk off Alexander. The light infantry is just going to come up behind. And the Saturn cavalry will just rotate around a little bit. Right, first things first, because in the last round, the uh, Macedonians got uh, five DMZs, they will lose one on the morale clock. So they are down to eight already. Now, I've just looked at the uh, terrain modifier. I didn't realise, actually, so perhaps Memnon's made a right mess up here. If any part of the base is in uh, bad terrain, they will lose their uh, terrain modifier. So all of these uh, Greek mercenaries are going to lose, uh, I think it's one. Yeah, they'll lose one. Right. OK, so be it. So the first combat here is three, five. Uh, which is nine all, so it's a push. And here it's four, plus one for support, it's five. And three, less one, but plus two for support is four. So four, five. That is 12, seven. That is a DMZ. Now we've got the phalanx. Okay, they're four, plus uh, support is five. And these chaps are three, down to one for border terrain, but supported by both sides is uh, four, and Memnon gets involved, so it's five. Five all. Uh, which is a great roll, because that's 12, uh, 10, another DMZ. Right, four, five, six, two, three, four. Five, 11 so that is a kill which leaves him very exposed he's on two and he's on six which is four uh, 14 and that's another kill memnon's getting sla smashed and that's all the combat for the phase but it does mean because the persians lost a couple of greek mercenary units uh, they will drop a morale clock to eight as well so they're both on eight Right, Macedonian go, and it's a uh, rally. They need six, and they've got it. 
the hoplites I need five and they've got it phalanx three easy the other phalanx uh, no uh, medium cavalry it's fives for them yes eight is automatic no and no and the light cavalry on the left flank yes in fact no uh, they need a six Right, ranged fire. Um, unfortunately for these guys, all they can fire at is the skirmishers and the bows. So they'll both fire at these guys here. Nope. And nope. And the bows will fire at their respective bows over there. I need sixes. No, definitely not. And seven, yes. Yeah, so they're demoralised. Now, just as a reminder... Uh, the skirmishers don't count for morale clock drop, so I'm going to worry about that one. I don't know about bows, actually. Yes, bows do count. Uh, skirmishers and rabble don't. And over here, we've got two lots of bows against this lot of horse. So it's uh, six is required. That's another one. That's a double DMZ. So they will be pushed back. And firing again. Ooh, uh, they could kill them. And they do. Ooh, that's interesting. The Peltas here are probably out of range. Let's do a double check on them. Yeah, so that's it for firing. Right, movement. I think I'm going to continue to wheel the cavalry back here and the light horse on the left flank. Right, phalanx, what to do? Uh, there's no way that these guys here can uh, go into a flanking maneuver there so i'm going to just going to hop him across actually parmenion he's going to come here give some uh, support to this uh, fight the rest of them will just hold their horses and they will advance next time if they can here i am going to allow the spears to come around and oh yeah, I think they'll advance here. And then of course, they can't go too far because that river. And old Alexander here. There's reckless and there's reckless. Um, you can only go three inches actually, so he can't get into contact. And then he'll put himself in the river. But I guess he's got to go. I've got to play the general, haven't I? Yeah. Anyway, away they go. They're not going to get in there. That allows the Persians to probably attack them where they are there. Mm, not brilliant right close combat now uh, I'll start here so these are four five with support so five two to the Macedonians uh, which is a DMZ I think the Persians are lucky there here it's four five so it's five four to the Macedonians which is twelve six and that is a kill the kills are certainly only going one way at the moment. Now here it's four, five, uh, six with Parmenion. The uh, Macedonians really want to push this at the moment. Six, four to the Macedonians. Which is 14, 11. A DMZ for the mercenaries. And that's all the combat there is this round. But it does mean with those DMZs and uh, losses with the Greek uh, mercenaries that the Persian morale drops to seven. Right, let's see if we can rally somebody. Uh, these Mardian bows, they need a six, they don't get it. These chaps need a five, they're okay. As to these, uh, plus one, so they need a four, no they don't. And that is it for morale rally. Right, first of all I think we'll do some uh, bow action, so these three will fire at uh, Whatever's in front of them, the bows, uh, no effect, no effect, and no effect. So they were useless. These Peltas will have a go at the uh, hoplites here. Eight, yes, that's a DMZ. Uh, five is not, and two is not, so that's uh, them no good. Over on this side, uh, we're firing at the phalanx. That is a DMZ. Nope, 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 
no and one more no and the rest of them will be firing at the medium horse no 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 oh, they're pretty useless the bows here against these two so there no we need sixes here that is a oh look that's a pushback dmz double dmz and finally them no effect right movement so the heavy horse are in with our side he's going to take the ball by the horns and uh, attack alexander want to turn up for the books so that's them they will just sidle around there no great shapes but get in a position to attack them the light infantry will wheel ready to take on these uh, skirmishers and bows I think these spears will come around here and flank the phalanx that's a difficult way to, or a word to say all of these peltasts are just going to move sideways they can do that they want free facing uh, yeah they're just going to sidle that way and just start chipping away at the phalanx and the light cavalry will come over the river lose a little bit because of the rough terrain but they're over and I think finally the satrap cavalry will just come over here milling about in the back they're pretty useless but um, might as well get them moving all right let's start here so these are four five back to four back to five because of uh, parmenion and these chaps are three two one because of the dmz plus one so they're back to two so it's 5-2 for the Macedonians, which is 10-5. That is a kill. Now I need to roll for uh, Memnon. What happens to him? One. Oh, Memnon is killed. The morale clock drops to six immediately. That's disastrous for the Persians. Uh, combat here is 3-2. Two one and it's four five five one to the Macedonians, uh, which is six three. So that's a kill as well. Oh, they're lucky that rubbish roll. But the main event is uh, Arcites against uh, Alexander, and Arcites has got the companions in the river, so they're really struggling here. So the Persians will start here, and they did get a charge, they got a plus one. So these guys are four five six with the charge and these are four five uh, minus two because of the terrain so they're three six three to the persians which is 14 eight That's dmz right the next one so it's four five six seven because of the charge eight because of our psyches and it's four five six less two because of the river Four, eight, four to the Persians, which is ten, five. So that is a kill. The companions die. And that's the first Macedonian casualty. And here, it's four, five, six with the charge against four, five, six, seven, because Alexander is there. Uh, minus one, so they're down to six here. Six all. Oh, this is more interesting. Uh, which is uh, 11 10. So that's a DMZ for the Persians there. And that concludes the uh, fighting for this round. And it also means, though, that uh, the Persians drop uh, another morale clock to five. Right, rally time. It's uh, six plus for these guys. No. Five plus these. Uh, yes, uh, they need uh, more than that because they're double DMZ, so they do not. The phalanx are on three, so ooh, yeah, just about. And these chaps here, yes, they need a five. They get it. Uh, and these need a uh, and these need a four, and they get it as well. Right, let's do some range fire. So Peltas first. They need sevens and eights. That's a seven. That's one DMZ. The other ones will be firing the same lot. Uh, that is no effect. So the bows will have a go. These guys against them. No effect. And these guys against them. No effect. 
and here bows against bows no no and the pell tests against the bows no and against the other pell tests uh, six no so that's pretty rubbish right movement i think these companions are going to swing around there and flank the heavy horse they're already demoralized uh one so hopefully i'll get a good effect there now what does alexander do does he stay there or does he hop across here mm, i think i'll stay there now here i think that uh these i don't think the pikes can turn and face these guys surely not um because pikes are very unwieldy i'm not quite sure how to deal with that one mm, i'm gonna say they're gonna do it not entirely convinced about that one. Uh, these will rotate around there, getting a rear hit there. Uh, they will rotate there and they will move up there. So we've got another formation there. Uh, the phalanx will remain as it is. And the cavalry will yeah, just pull back a little bit to refuse that flank. Right, combat. There's only a couple of combats here, so... Um, might not get a morale clock drop so this one first all right companions of four five six with uh alexander but minus one so they're on five now the persian cavalry will be on four less one is uh three two because they're flanked plus one because of support so back to three which is five three to the macedonians uh, so that's ten seven well, it doesn't matter, they're pushed back and they can't go anywhere and they are killed. Now, it's a follow-up. So, uh, yeah, they go there, I guess. Alexander go with them. Here it's four down to three. And it's four, five for the uh, Persians. So it's three, five in favour of the Persians. Eight, nine, so they're DMZ'd. Ooh, unlucky. And as expected, there's not enough casualties there to affect the morale clock. So we're on to the Persian round. Right, rally here. Uh, they need five, but we've got the uh, noble geezer here. They got a plus one, so he needs a four. Uh, they got a six, that's no problem. The light infantry, they need a five. They don't get it. Bows here, they need a six. Nope. And that's it for a rally. Right, firing. The bows uh, firing against the medium horse here. Uh, eight, yes, that's a DMZ here. Now, next lot, no, they don't hit. And they don't hit either. That's a shame, they could have killed them. Peltastastic. Uh, these three against this one. Uh, that's cocky. Uh, that's a DMZ. Next one. That is a DMZ. It's a double DMZ. They don't like it up them. That lot, they're going back. And the last one is no effect. Oh, lucky. All right, so we're one against one. Uh, no, no. Uh, yes. Uh, no, no. And no. But they're being annoying little buggers, they are. Right, again, uh, opposites, uh, no effect, no effect, and yes, DMZ here. And bows will be firing against those peltas there, uh, that's a DMZ. So we're racking up the DMZs here, uh, no and no, but that's already four hits on the uh, Macedonians there. Right, movement. So over here, uh, the light infantry are going to get in. They can't move because of uh, their DMZ. I'm thinking that light cavalry is going to keep on swarming around here, creating a nuisance. The bows will stay there. They're still causing problems there. The peltas are just pelting the older uh, phalanx. They've got no answer to that at the moment. So, ah, interesting. And here, I think... Uh, they will go and flank them, and our scientists will move over here. Try and finish them off. I think that's it. Right, combat. 
Um, I am going to start here with the light infantry against the bows. Uh, the Cretan bows are elite. So these are actually on four, and they're on three without support. Four three to the Macedonians. Uh, so it's eight five, so that's a DMZ. So these guys are two, four with the support against three, four. These guys can't support, so it's uh, four all. Which uh, is 12 8, another DMZ. Racking up for the Macedonians now. That's three for these, and the Pale Tasts are on zero, so it's 3 0 for the Persians. Uh, which is 4 2, so they're killed, but there's no effect on the morale clock. But let's move to the main event. So the uh, companions here with Alexander are out of it at the moment, uh, so we're ganging up on this uh, gang here. With four here, our Cites actually uh, doesn't give a bonus. I might have done that wrong earlier. So it's four uh, against uh, four minus one because of flanking and minus one because of the uh, river. So it's four two to Persians, uh, which is five ten. And that's a disaster for the Persians. They're killed. What has happened to our Cites? Eight. Right, well, he's escaped. Uh, so he will attach himself to uh, this lot of heavy horse, and they'll turn a face, I think. However, what it does mean for the round is that the Macedonians, because of all that DMZ action going on, will drop a morale clock to seven. What I forgot to do when the morale clock hit five for the Persians was the unreliable check. The Satrap Cavalry have got to do it, and they've got to get a 6 plus. Uh, yeah, no problem, no problem, no and no. So these two are DMZ'd. And interestingly, it's also the Light Infantry have got to do it, the Kardaka Infantry. They're on a 5 plus, but these are already uh, demoralised, so they need a 6. No, so they are double DMZ'd. These two, yes, and yes. And these three units starting at the top, yes, yes, yes. Okay, they did all very well. Right, rallying for the Macedonians now. We'll do the uh, Cretan bows. They need four plus, yes, and no. These pale tusks need six. Yep. These hoplites will need five. Yep. The phalanx is normally three. I should be doing a minus one actually for these. They need four, so they're okay. These will need uh, five. They're okay. Group cavalry will need seven. Ooh. These will need six. Yes. Fantastic uh, rallies here. And these will need seven. Ooh, not quite. Uh, movement now. I think the peltasts will just hop into that um, dodgy ground. The main event here, I'm not quite sure whether we can uh, turn these guys around. So they will charge forward here at the Kadaka Cavalry. And there they go. And they will join them. And Alexander will pop around here. The hot flights will push forward here. They're still in combat. So they will steady the line here. And I'm thinking now that those cavalry are going to swing in here. Those light cavalry will join them on that side there. These can't get into combat. Right, I should have done bows first. Um, so I messed that one up. So these guys will fire at these. Uh, they need sixes, no, and no. And the Peltas will need sevens, no. And yes, yeah, so they're demoralized. And unfortunately for these guys, uh, they should have fired before they moved, so um, they can't do anything now. Right, we're into the main event now. We'll start with the companions against the heavy cavalry. These will be on two, these will be on four. They're both in uh, bad terrain. Old uh, Arcites does nothing, but Alexander gives a plus two, so it's four two. Which is 11 four, and that's a kill. Does Arcites get it? Oh, he does. Gone. 
Right, it's an immediate drop to four on the uh, morale clock. Uh, they've got a follow up, I think. Not quite sure where they go, where they go. I suppose it was it a full move. There we go. So the Persians are leaderless. Right, companion cavalry here against the uh, Kadarka Light Infantry. This has got to be a mismatch. Right, they're on five and they're on two. Uh, both get a support, so it's six three. Uh, which is eight eight as a push bizarrely and same again six three so that is going to be ten seven so they're demoralized that could have been a lot worse moving around here less good for the uh, macedonians we'll start here so these guys are three they lose one but gain one because they're supported so they're on three and these chaps are three because they're supported so that's three all and that is 11 at 4, that's a kill. Alarm bells ringing for the Persians now. So they're on 3, 4, 4, 3, uh, which is 6, 4, another DMZ. Greek hoplites in the centre against the Peltasts. So it's 3, 4 against 0, 4, 0. Which is 9 5 EMZ. It's all going one way. Uh, these chaps in the middle, 5 against 0. Which is 11 5, that's a kill. No effect on the morale clock. And 4 against 0. Uh, that's another kill. No effect on the morale clock. Right, now we've got some cavalry action on the left flank. There's no support at all, so straight 3 2. Which is 11 5, that's a kill. 3 2, uh, so that is 5 6, so DMZ for the uh, Macedonian side. Uh, 9, so that's a push. Uh, that is 11 6, so that's a DMZ. And these are these are lights against lights, that's 2 2, uh, which is DMZ for the Persians, and that is it. These companion cavalry have just smashed through there. They've killed the um, heavy horse, big gap, and it's all weak troops that have got to push through now. Easy peasy. And now the Persian army have to take a 50% DMZ check because they only have three on their morale clock and the uh, Macedonians have seven still. Right, the Persians have 38 uh, units on the table. So they have to do 19 DMZs. Quite sure what to do there. Right. Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen. Well, a total of seven units have left the field. They fled. Right. Rallying time for the Persians. So these chaps here. They'll need sevens. No, no. The Mardian bows will also need seven. Yes, that's still key. These chaps need six. Yep, that's automatic. And again, six. Yes, automatic. They will need seven. Oh, they got it as well. And the satrap cavalry at the back here also seven. Uh, yes, yes, good grief. Fantastic rolling there. Unbelievable. So bizarrely, uh, the Persians have rallied pretty effectively there. Obviously, they don't like Arcites. Right, so we'll, uh, we'll do some ranged fire. Um, the Peltas, what's left of them, will continue to pepper the phalanx. They need sevens. No, 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 no. Uh, the bows here against the other bows. They'll need uh, sixes. No, that's nothing there either. Now I'm thinking that these bows can fire at them because they're not directly in combat. So they need uh, sixes. No, uh, that's one hit on DMZ. And the other one's, yes, so they're double DMZ'd. All right, so that's a pushback. Right, I've only got three moves for the Persians. One is going to be the separate cavalry in the flank of the companions. Uh, light infantry going against these uh, Peltas here. They get a bonus for being in the rough ground. And over on the Macedonian left flank, these light horse are going to come in here on the flank of the other light horse. And that's where we're going to start, I think. 
So these are going to be two down to one because of DMZ. And these are two down to one because they're flanked. So that's one all. Uh, it's six two, and that's a kill. Uh, next fight is going to be three one, which is seven three, that's a kill. Three two. Six cents a push and two two, which is six nine cents a pushback for Macedonians. Right, the companion cavalry here, a uh, little bit of a flank attack going on, but these they're not charging now, so they don't get a bonus. They're on four down to three because they're flanked, and the Kadaka infantry are on two, so it's three two to the uh, Macedonians. Um, so that's a DMZ for the light infantry. And this is a straight 4-2, uh, which is going to be 11-7. So it's another DMZ. All right, these Kadaka infantry here get uh, two plus one because of rough ground. So they're on three. And the Peltas get zero, so 3-0, which is 9-2. So finally a kill for the uh, Persians. Right, it's 2-4. Uh, which is a DMZ for the Persians. Uh, that is the end of the round, and surprise, surprise, the uh, Persians drop another morale clock to two, and they have to do another 50% morale check. And it's a total of 14 DMZs to dole out. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, 12. Oh, yeah, 12. 13, 14. Yeah, I think that's the best they can do. Right, rallying for the Macedonians. These guys need sevens. No. No. They also need a seven. No. And these Cretan bows here will need five. So they get it. Right, so ranged fire. So this lot will be firing at the bows here. We'll do the uh, Peltasts first. So they'll be hitting on sevens. No. No. And these will be hitting on six. No. Uh, no, rubbish. Movement, right, they will swing around because they can't support, so they might as well hit them in the flank. They can't do anything because they're uh, double DMZ'd. And they've got a little fight over here with light cavalry on their own. So that's one. They've got seven moves. I'm guessing, actually, that the um, phalanx is going to grind forward and they can actually contact them. I didn't realise they were that close. I should have measured it before. But they'll fight with a disadvantage. But I think they really just want to kill these uh, annoying peltasts. I have actually forgotten this fight here. Wow, all that time I've forgotten this fight. Right, I'll just say it's been uh, a push. Lucky old uh, Memnon's uh, Greek mercenary, so I'll have to keep everybody there for the moment. Fight that one in a minute. Right, these hoplites can move six. I'm not quite sure they can move that fast. But away they go. They're going to go around there, and they're going to aim for the satrap levy. Uh, they will crash into them. They'll have to turn face. Alexander will go with them. And actually, these uh, Cretan bows, they're quite nifty in combat. They're going to zoom forward here and attack the uh, Mardian bows. That is about it. And I might as well move the Peltasts up as well. Right, they can't go six, they go four, so just move them back a bit. Right, let's start with Alexander. Why not? Uh, so they've charged in, so they will get uh, five. Uh, Alexander's involved, so it's seven against a Satrap Cavalry uh, 3, 7-3, three, uh, which is 11-5, funny old thing, kill, and charge forward. So, away they go, they charge forward, and it's a contact there. Alexander's gone mad, he's crashed into that Satrap Cavalry there, he's turned a face, and they'll be fighting next time, if the Satrap are going to hang around. Uh, back here, it's going to be four against uh, two, down to one, but supported, so it's four two, which is nine eight, so that's a uh, double DMZ. They will follow up. Here, it's four, not supported now, one. 
Uh, oh dear, five, uh, nine, so they're demoralised. Now here we've got uh, one, two support against four, four, two to the Macedonians, uh, which is five all, so that's a push. A vicious cavalry battle on the left flank. Okay, two light horse against each other, it's two, two, uh, so that's a DMZ for the uh, Macedonians. And here it's two, down to one, because they're flanked. Three, one. Which is eight, four, that's a kill. Follow up, and that's the end of that combat there. Back to the combat in the middle, which has been going furiously for ages, and these uh, Greek mercenaries have been able to survive so long because the idiot's forgotten about them. So it's three, minus two is one, and it's four uh, with Parmenia on five. So it's five, one. How they survived this long, I don't know. Uh, so it's 12, four, and funny old thing, they killed. Right, uh, very stupidly, I have <laughs> pushed the phalanx into rough ground. Uh, There's a minus three for the terrain, actually. So they are on one plus the support. So they're on three, zero, uh, which is uh, a push. Mm. Uh, three, zero. Oh, that's a kill. No effect on morale crop. Three zero. I mean, it's all three zero, isn't it? That's uh, yes, that's a kill. That's a kill. Uh, that is a push, and finally, it's going to be uh, two zero, which is also a push. All right. Uh, now the bows find each other. I uh, forgot about these. I think. These chaps are on three, four with support, and the Mardians can support each other as well. So these are three down to two because of the uh, DMZ, but back up to three, so it's four, three. Uh, which is seven, ten, so it's a DMZ for the Macedonians. And same here again, four, three, uh, that's a push. Uh, however, it's no great surprise that after the end of that, Persian morale clock will drop to one. And we do another 50% of DMZs, which is 10 DMZs to dole out. Right, oh yeah, I think I'll take these. One, two, three. These are just a speed bump. Four, five, six. Uh, seven, eight, nine. And I'll put a DMZ on them. Ten. Right, it's going to be the final round. So we'll do a morale check here. They need sixes. No. And no. He needs a seven. No. He needs a six. No, these guys need sevens. No, no, oh, it's not as good as last time, is it? There's no ranged fire for the Persians because we're all, all in combat or run away. So there's only one move. That's all they can do. Uh, I will move. Uh, can I move those cavalry around to the flank them? Probably not. They haven't got the uh, movement. Oh, I can't really do a great deal. Let's see if we can get the uh, satrap levy involved. They can move five, which uh, will get them in contact there. But they've got to pass a fearsome test which is a minus one rally. Hmm, they need eights. Nope, 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 nope. Right, funny old thing, they don't fancy it. Okay, so combat, we'll start with Alexander. He'll be on four, uh, six with him against three, which is 11 at six, that's a kill. Follow up, uh, just mullering this satrap cavalry. Four zero, uh, which is well, it's a kill. Just that's lucky. Three one, uh, which is uh, and that's double DMZ'd. So they'll take another DMZ, push back. They will follow up. Uh, this flank here, they're on one supported two against four. Uh, so that is a another DMZ pushback. The bows here is going to be uh, three down to two, back to three supported against three, uh, which is six ten. So it's not DMZ for the Cretan bows there. I often getting getting my red markers out, and three against uh, three. Uh, again, uh, DMZ here. 
right phalanx so it's going to be one supported two against zero uh which is four three so it's dmz it's the dmz for the persians and here it's going to be uh two against zero uh, again dmz and the final combat on the left flank here is uh the light cavalry it's two two uh, it's two one actually to the persians Uh, and they can't even win that. So DMZ for the Persians. Right, and after that, um, it will be no great surprise that the Persians lose their final uh, morale clock. Uh, drops to zero and they will run away. So Alexander and his companions have smashed through here. Having fended off Arcites and his heavy cavalry. Bit of skirmishing on the right, pretty sort of uh, neutral there. And here, uh, the Memnon and his uh, Greek mercenaries got absolutely smashed in the centre. The phalanx grinding forward, finding themselves in a bit of bother in the river. Satrap Levy standing on the hill, nervously, not doing anything. And the fight on the left flank with the cavalry, the um, Macedonians did all right there, actually. Uh, so there we are. Refighting the Battle of Granicus went just as it did in history. Hurrah! Well, a crushing victory, and the casualties speak for themselves there. Persians clearly lost both leaders, Arcites and Memnon. Uh, all the heavy cavalry went, um, and the other ones uh, racked up Greek mercenaries, etc. They also had a number of uh, units fleeing the field, so they lost 18 killed, 18 units killed, and 14 units fleeing. The Macedonians just lost five units, but one of those was companions. So, what did I do wrong there? I mean, it was points heavy in the Persian favour, but they were poor troops, so perhaps that just reflected reality. I'm not quite sure there. Um, so we move on to the Battle of Issus, uh, which I'll be doing in another couple of weeks' time. Looking forward to that one, uh, and I'll be following as much as I can with the figures I've got, the tables given in the Age of Hannibal rules. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.